Hello, everyone. My name is Marty Guthmiller, and I am CEO of Orange City Area Health System, bringing you today on October 12, 2020, the 63rd edition of our COVID-19 community briefing. As it is a Monday, and as has been our practice, I will provide you with a local scoreboard today. Um, we have had at Orange City Area Health System 636 positive COVID-19 tests. Of the 4,508 that we have uh, completed here, that is a positivity rate of 14.1%. Um, that is compared to a previous positivity rate a week ago at 13.5. So we have increased by 0.6%. Last week, we did 101 tests. Um, no, we had 101 positives of the 546 tests that we did last week for a test rate for that one week of 18.5%. Our positivity rate for the week prior to that was at 18.6%. Uh, a little bit more transparency in terms of what's going on here locally. Um, we currently have seven inpatients, COVID-19 inpatients, in our hospital currently. At Landsmere Ridge, we have six positive COVID patients that are not requiring hospitalization. And we have six additional Landsmere Ridge residents that we are watching closely. Sioux County numbers, 2,110 positives of the 8,771 tested that is a positivity, positivity rate of 24.1%. That is 110 more since last Friday. Our positivity rate in Sioux County continues to climb. Uh, it was at 23.4 the last time we talked, 22.7 prior to that. A number again that we've been following very closely is the 14 day average. For Sioux County, we are, uh, I believe we were at number three in the state the last time we talked. We are still at number three, but our rate has gone up 25.1%. We were at 23.4 previous to that and 27% uh, before that. So we've gone 27.0, 23.4, and now 25.1. Lyon County remains at number two in the state at 25.6. They did go down from 27.4. O'Brien County is now number 13 in the state, um, but they did go up 16.6% and they were previously at 15.9. Plymouth County remains at 10, number 10 in the state uh, and the same rate, 17.7%, so no change in their rate. A number that is going up as well are the number of counties in the state that are at 10% or higher. Um, not that there's anything magic about that, but I've just been keeping track of the 10% and higher counties, and that number is going up. Today, it's 51. Um, that's the highest it's been since I've been keeping track. Uh, it was 43 previous to that, uh, our last report and 37 prior to that. So it's just another indication that uh, the pervasiveness of the virus across the state. And while our rates are, are too high, there are you know, a number of counties in the state, 51, that are at 10% or higher. Region three, the 20 counties in Northwest Iowa that we've been tracking as well, 115 currently hospitalized in region three. That number was 126, so it's a nice drop. The number in the ICU, though, has gone up from 21 to 26. Of those 26 ICU patients, we do have eight people on ventilators. A little bit of other information that's not available on the coronavirus.iowa.gov website is the number of hospitalized patients in Sioux City. Um, which would certainly be in that 115 number. But there are 70 uh, patients currently hospitalized between uh, the two hospitals in Sioux City. Uh, 
We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Iowa, 100,176 positive. So we have now officially hit the six digit uh, mark of the 865,190 tested. That is an 11.6% rate. Uh, the rate did jump 0.2% from 11.4. Um, it takes a fair amount to make that number jump. And so when it jumps 0.2%, um, there are a lot of positives occurring throughout the state. 11.6% Iowa total positivity rate. Number of hospitalizations in Iowa as of uh, the, the website today, 414. That is down slightly from 418 when we spoke on Friday. And that's down, that's up from 364 previous to that and 315. So the last four times we've spoke, it's gone 315, 364, 418, and now 414. So hopefully we have peaked. Sioux County, uh, according to the uh, website, has 15. Um, Plymouth County, four. O'Brien County, four. Lyon County, two. Woodbury County, 48. That is up from 42. That is number one in the state. So earlier I mentioned the number of patients hospitalized in Sioux City, and that number is 70. Most likely of that 70, 48 were from Woodbury County. Polk County has 38 uh, residents uh, currently hospitalized. That number is up from 36. We have had uh, some additional deaths, um, 37 uh, additional deaths since Friday reported. Sioux County is now at eight. In looking at the demographics, not, nothing is changing. Um, it, it is still those with pre-existing conditions that are most at risk. The elderly are most, most at risk. So nothing really has changed in that demographic um, of the number of people uh, succumbing to the virus. I don't have a, a lot to offer today, except that on occasion I do get asked, well, what about vitamin D? What about zinc? What about some of these things that, that um, people are touting out there as, as helping stave off the virus? Um, again, I, I'm not a clinical person, but in, in talking with the folks around here, uh, those things can hurt. So, I mean, if you want to do vitamin D, you want to do zinc, um, that, that's fine. But our clinicians here remind us that the best way to avoid getting the virus is to do the things that we've always been talking about, and that is masking, social distancing, avoiding large groups, practicing good hand hygiene, both in terms of washing and hand disinfecting. Um, that is the best way. In almost all of the cases that, that well, let's put it this way, very few cases um, have come to our attention where the person has no idea where, where they've been exposed. Generally speaking, uh, the folks testing positive have a pretty good idea. Uh, well, I was at this party or I was at this function or I, I went to somebody's house or you know that kind of thing. Um, I rode in the car with somebody. Um, so most of the time, that's what, that's what we hear. And so again, no silver bullets that I can offer today. Um, if you want to take vitamin D, zinc, some of those other things, perfectly fine. Uh, but um, the main way to avoid the virus is to do those things that we've been talking about. Some encouragement also, uh, the therapeutics available today as is not new to you and, and, nothing, and something that we've probably already talked about a number of times here. Um, the, the therapeutics in use today are, are much more uh, accurate and helpful than, the, than they've been, um, certainly since last March or April. There was a, a regional hospital that, uh, that I've been visiting with that said their, their mortality in the ICU, the intensive care unit, back in the March, April timeline was 
four people out of 10 in the ICU back in March or April weren't making it out, according to this hospital. Today, that rate is 5%. And so uh, while 5% is still not a great number, it is much better, much more improved than the 40%. The reason for that is because of these advanced therapeutics, um, convalescent plasma, remdesivir, those kind of treatments. And so uh, people who are getting sick are still getting sick. They're really getting sick in some cases. But again, we have the ability to treat uh, in a much better way today. And um, again, remember that most, most people are having mild symptoms um, as well. One final thought, as Sioux County has now reached over 2,100 positives, it's reasonable to expect that as many as 20,000 Sioux County residents have now been infected or at least to some extent have some degree of immunity. That should be encouraging uh, to all of us. And now again, we're not sure how long the immunity lasts. On rare circumstances, we're hearing people getting it again, but again, that's an outlier. Um, so some encouragement is that most, most statisticians, most epidemiologists would point out that uh, the multiplier in that is, is in the 10 range in terms of the positives. And so we could reasonably expect uh, Sioux County in that 20,000 range. And you know, when you look at uh, a population base of 35,000, uh, it's getting to be probably where we could expect over half now of our population to have been uh, exposed and infected by uh, the coronavirus. That's all I have for today. Um, we will uh, come plan to, to present another briefing later this week. Um, and until then, we ask you to stay strong, stay vigilant, and above all else, stay healthy. Thank you again for joining us today.